Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Today I'm doing an interval ab workout, so we're focusing on strengthening and toning the entire core, um, which I know a lot of people like to do in preparation for summer, but it's just an important thing to do no matter what because a strong core is the foundation for your posture and everything else in life. So I'm going to take you through the, the exercises first and then I'm going to do the workout interval style so you can see what the actual workout looks like with me doing as hard as I can. So exercise number one is a plank side step. So this is gonna be done to both sides. What you're gonna do is go into a plank position, core pulls tight. You're gonna do it like you're doing a push up, or you can do a forearm variation if you need to, if you have um, weak wrists or carpal tunnel. So for this exercise, core pulls tight. Um, your body forms a nice straight line from your heels to your hips to your shoulders and then you're gonna step out to the side bring it in step out big step to the side core stays tight the whole time bring it in so you're gonna do that first to one side and then to the other side okay so that's the first two exercises exercise number three is up dog down dog that's right okay so for this one we're going to stay in our plank position hands beneath our shoulders core pulled in tight. First, we're going to lift our butt toward the ceiling, flattening out our back, dropping our heels down to the ground. And then we're going to transition into up dog. So this is down dog. And what we're going to do is come all the way up onto our toes. And then we're going to go down one vertebrae at a time. So we're going to bring our hips forward and then lift our chest and our head. So we come into up dog with our toes on the ground, tops of our toes on the ground, knees lifted, face looking up, and then we're gonna transfer back. So back onto those toes, butt goes to the ceiling, back is straight, straight as you can get it, heels drop, that would be one. And you're gonna focus on those toes and then on unwinding as you come up. I like how you, you roll that out up through your back. <laughs> yep. That's a you're lot of bending. Roll through <laughs> and up. Okay, so that's going to really work your back and your core at the same time. Next exercise. Bicycles. Okay, so we're going to start out doing the traditional bicycles where you lay on your back. Core pulls in during any ab exercise. You want to engage your transverse abs by pulling your core in, pretending you can touch your belly button to your spine, but you can still breathe. Knees are going to lift and you're going to keep your elbows wide turning to the side. So left elbow comes to right knee, right elbow reaches out as far open as you can, and then you're going to do it to the other side. And your legs pump as you go, just like they would on pedals on a bike. Okay, so that's the next exercise. After that we have... After that we are doing toe tap sit up. Okay, so for this one we stay on our back, shoulder blades slightly lift, hands come behind your head, knees come up. And we're going to do a really small sit-up motion. So sit up, um, where really you're just lifting your rib cage. Pretend that you can roll the bottom two parts of your ribs over your lower abs, or over the top of your abs, I'm sorry. So press up, come down, keep the angle of your legs at 90 degrees, step those toes down to engage the low abs in this little tummy pooch area that people complain about. Okay? The freaking a pooch. Back up and then lift and tap them. So you're not just bending your knees, you're actually moving the entire 90 degree angle. Okay, there we go. Just tap Next it exercise. In. Next up we are doing ooh, cross planks, one side then the other. <clears throat> okay, so this is um, Kind of similar to the Spider-Man plank, except we're gonna cross our body. So, plank position, core pulls tight. We're gonna start with our right leg and cross your body, elbow comes to your knee. Push it back, cross, push it back. And again, core stays tight the whole time. And that's gonna be done on the other side as well. Okay, next exercise. Next up after those crosses, we're doing bicycle boat. Okay, for this one, we're going to be doing the same thing as we did in bicycle when we were down on the floor. 
And we're going to pull our core tight, lean back, keeping our back straight, find our balance on our knees, and we're going to bicycle as we balance. So just to add another little dynamic movement and challenge to it, okay? So and keep bicycling those legs, keep those elbows twisting out to the side. So your torso twist. Hmm. Next. Well, that's going to be challenging. Next we have the classic temple tap abs. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Core pulls in, shoulder blades lift, hands come to prayer position at your chest, legs extend. If this is too much, this extension, you can lift to a higher angle. The lower it is, the more challenging. And then you're going to tap that elbow toward the top corner of your mat, back to center, tap, back to center, okay? So you keep repeating that movement. Next. And finally, we have knee tap plank crunch. Okay, so we're combining two different plank movements for this one. What we're going to do is go into our plank. We're going to start with a knee tap. So bend your knees slightly. Core pulls in tight. You should feel your lower tummy working. You can touch the floor or keep them right above the floor. Just don't bang and don't set your weight down like that. You just want to keep the core tight. Stretch it out. And then you're going to bring your butt toward your heels. Back to center. Bring those knees down. Stretch it out. And then twist the other way. Back to center. Down. And knees turn left. Center down and knees turn right center okay so <laughs> i'm doing this as an interval style workout it can also be done for repetitions just depends on your level what you're comfortable with i like the high intensity so that's what i'm going for today so i'm gonna have a sip of water oh good job gambit just like that buddy <laughs> keep pushing mm -hmm. oh he's a beast He's a hard worker. What an inspiration. Okay, guys, so exercise number one is this plank step out. Let me get my interval timer set. Okay, I have five seconds to prepare. I'm going for 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So I'm going to start with my right leg stepping out. Core pulls tight the whole time. And I can feel my abs and my obliques working right now. Halfway done. Fifteen seconds left to go on this side. But we do get a ten second break in between. rest time and then we're going to repeat it on the other side so enjoy your rest get your weight off your arms for a second that 10 seconds goes fast <laughs> it seems to get faster and faster every time too so keep that core tight pull it in but keep breathing and keep that body in a nice straight line Halfway done. Fifteen seconds left to go. Core pulls in. break and then we're going to the up dog down dog so breathe there we go so plank down dog heels press lift onto those toes roll it down and forward look up nice up and back flat back heels press roll over on those toes and then unwind the spine heels press and 
back. And when I unwind, I bring the hips, chest, then head. And then I go back in reverse. exercise. Next up is the bicycle. Core pulls in. Keep those elbows spread far apart so you're really twisting and working those abs. Try and keep that tummy pulled in. I know it's hard. Gambit's workout looks more fun. Feel that burn, buddy. Gambit's the cat, guys. In case you didn't pick up on that already. Keep breathing. Next exercise. Next, we have toe tap sit ups. Sit up, tap it down, core stays tight. What leaves this? These ones are really challenging, but work so well. They look so easy, but they're so hard. In a good way. I love this move. This is excellent for strengthening those hip flexors for all the runners out there. Short distance, long distance, doesn't matter. And for anyone looking to work the low abs, oh boy, does this do it. Just the hardest place. Okay, next exercise. Next up, we have cross planks. One side, then the other. Doesn't matter what you start with. Okay, so I always start with my right, otherwise I get confused and repeat. So around and out, back. There you go. Good job, honey. Thank you. Pull that core tight. More than halfway done. Fifteen seconds left. Oh, I need the break after that one. Okay. How do your shoulders feel? They feel great. I'm feeling it all in my abs yeah. today. Excellent. You look amazing, honey. <laughs> Thanks. It's like as soon as you mention it, I start to feel it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I know these More things my work my shoulders. My shoulders oh, okay. Halfway done. I feel these up in the fronts of my shoulders. Fifteen seconds left to go. Last five, you got this. Okay, next uh, exercise. Bicycle boat. Okay, so we get to flip over. So keep that balance, try and keep that core pulled in tight, and keep moving. If the movement's too much, hold the pose, either with bent legs or straight legs. I 
really feel that my core is getting tired. I love it. More than halfway done. Last 10. Excellent. Exercise. We're doing temple tap abs. Ooh, you're hammering out those abs now. Absolutely. Core pulls in. <laughs> Hands come to prayer. You said absolutely. Uh, you're so witty. Oh, I'm cheating. Epiva. Actually, this is the easier modification, so it's not really cheating, but normally temple tap abs are my go to move. But after those bicycle boats. Oh. I mean this in the most complimentary way possible. You are a beast. Ooh. Here we go. Almost done, love. Nice. Have to make up for some of those breaks. <laughs> Next exercise. All right, last one, honey. Knee crunch. tap, plank, crunch. That's right. This is a great combination. Thank you. Keep the core tight. That's the trick, especially during that knee tap. That's how you get the muscles working that you need to work. breathing. Last 10 seconds of the workout. Well, round one, if you're repeating. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's one round. So as always, the workout will be broken down on my blog. You'll see how many times I go through it, any running or other cardio I did today and everything you need to know to know about this workout, plus over 300 other free workouts I have done and shared on my own personal fitness journey. These are the workouts I did to get in shape and stay in shape. So check it out, plus recipes and tips for healthy living, vendorfitness.com. I hope to see you there. Have a good night, guys.